So we've completed looking at the view method to draw to the screen. But if you want fast graphics, you're going to have to draw directly to the canvas. And that's what we're going to start looking at. Using the canvas and defining the classes is very similar to the way we've just handled using the view. So it might seem a bit repetitive at moments. We're going to replace the layout XML with a class that will draw directly to the canvas. If you can start by creating an animation activity 002 activity class, that'd be great. And I think you all know how to do that by now. So we've got uh, seven activities, seven activity classes on our app already. And don't forget to mention your activity in the Android manifest. So if we take a look out our animation activity class, you can see that when we set the content view, instead of using a layout XML class in the same way using the view method, we've created our own class. And similarly as before, we had activity animation 001 layout. I'm creating a helper class called activity animation 002 layout. So if we open up the layout file, when drawing directly to the canvas, if you look up the documentation, which you can find at this location, our class responsible for drawing and managing our layout has to extend the surface view and also needs to implement a thread. So we're going to implement the runnable interface. We've already overridden a method and we've created a constructor for our class. And I think that's where I want to leave it for this tutorial. We've, cr we've created a, an activity to display drawings using the canvas method. And we've replaced the layout XML file with a class that draws directly to the canvas. And I'll fill, fill in the details in the next tutorial. Mm -hmm.